He's the former lead guitarist for the multi-platinum Grammy-winning rock band Korn. Never heard of him? Ask your kids. And then you can surprise them with what you learn in this People in the News profile of Brian Welch that Paula Zahn finished just before she went on vacation. Here on a roof, Bible in hand, Brian Welsh is a new man. But it wasn't long ago that this hard-rocking, heavy-drinking, drug-addicted rock star was at the pinnacle of his career and drowning, he says, in despair. I started doing speed full-time every day. I was addicted to Xanax, too, and sleeping pills. It's like living in pure hell. I was so miserable. I was like, I just want to go to sleep and never wake up. Never. And uh, I really wanted to die. I really did. Late last year, a concerned friend invited Brian to this church in Bakersfield. Brian's pastor, Ron Vienna. I saw tiredness. I saw confusion. And someone who just was really ready for a change in life. I was going after my demonic potential, you know? And that was getting famous, worshiping money, worshiping fame, worshiping all this other stuff that I thought life was all about. That realization prompted Brian to think about leaving the band. But when his five-year-old daughter started singing sexual lyrics from a corn song, he decided it was time to quit. I said to you guys, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving, I got to leave, I have to leave, I have no other choice. Yeah. My bass player for corn. He text messaged me, he said, you're going to get put on MTV, everyone's going to laugh at you, they're going to say that you're crazy, is that what you want? I was like, yeah, I'm ready to get laughed at because God's not laughing at me. My uh, real estate broker, Eric, he, uh, he said, Brian, I don't mean to be weird with you, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I, f I felt the scripture like jump out at me, I've never done this before, you know, so I don't really know how to do this, but I felt like this would mean something to you. It's Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I remember all tweaked out. I looked up in the dictionary, weary. I looked up burdened, and I just I pulled the scripture apart, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm weary and burdened, and I need rest for my soul, and... Uh, I didn't know if it was real, but you know they invited me to church a couple couple weeks later, and I had received Christ at the church. I went home, neglected my daughter, got it all smooth and powdery. Jesus, you got to take these drugs from me. Search me right now. Search my heart. Father, I felt so much fatherly love from from heaven, and it was like I don't condemn you. I love you. I love you. It was just love, love. And instantly, that love from God came into me. It was so powerful that the next day I threw away all my drugs and uh, I quit corn. I was like, I'm quitting corn and I'm going to raise my kid because my kid, like, I got the love from God coming to me and then it came out of me to my kid. It changed me. My heart was changed like that. And I was like, Janaya. Daddy's going to be home with you all the time. I'm quitting my career. And her face lit up, and she's like, for me? You know, she felt so special. And uh, God used her to save me, to save her life later on. My dream came true way more than I dreamt about. I, got, I made more money. I played bigger shows. I mean, houses, cars. I tried drugs, I tried sex, I tried everything to try to get pleasure out of this life. And I thought that I could fulfill my life with all this stuff by, by having my dream come true. And it came true, but it didn't fulfill it. When Christ came in, that feeling, He gives you the gift of understanding life, which is everything was created for Christ and by Him and we're created to be with him.